So in this video, I'm just gonna show you a few mesh-tastic devices I've built recently. Uh, these are all Lilygo devices. We've got the T-Deck here, we've got the T-Echo, and we've got the T-Beam Supreme. Um, all these, these two cases here are printed out of our clear um, resin. It's been 3D printed from um, PCB Way. Um, the quality of them has been really good, so if you want to get anything 3D printed um, in a clear resin, I highly recommend them. So I do have a 3D printer, but it's just a, a standard one, so the quality wasn't as good as um, the resin prints we've got from PCB Way. And they just look like glass, pretty much. Um, I did get one for the T-Echo as well. Um, this is just a slim version of the T-Echo, so essentially you take out the guts of that and you can put it into here. Um, it makes it a little bit thinner, but I've decided to stay with the just the standard case for the T-Echo. And I've done some upgrades to it, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. Um, this is just a close-up of the TB Supreme. So you can see the quality of the 3D print um, it's really good. It essentially looks like glass. Um, I might just go through the TB Serene first. So the only upgrade I've done to this one is essentially just done the clear resin case, which looks pretty cool. Um, I've also done an upgrade to the battery. So this usually comes with an 18650. Um, battery mount. So what I've done is I've just desoldered it, um, 3D printed a new one and desoldered it in. So this increases the capacity by probably 2000 milliamps. So the 18650 I had was around 3000 milliamp battery and this one, because it's a 21700, it's a 5000 milliamp. Um, when I've done the tests for it, with the GPS and also the environmental sensors on, I've got 36 hours runtime from it. I think it's another look at it. So yeah, I think it really looks cool with the, the clear case. The next one is the T-Echo. Let's just zoom in. So the upgrades I've done to this is I've printed a new faceplate. I've printed the low profile buttons so you, if it's in your pocket and stuff they don't accidentally get clicked. Um, it's also got a 3D printed back cover because I've upgraded the battery to 2000 milliamp hour battery. It's a 103450, which is just fits in, but you need a custom back panel. And I've also put a, an on and off switch there. And I've just done a little bit of a additional touch. So it's just got the Meshtastic logo there. And if I send a message to it, You can see it just has a LED indicator as well, which flashes. So I'll actually open this one up. Just a bit. So the sock battery in this, the T Echo, is a I think it's around 800 milliamp battery. So changing it to 2000 milliamp hour battery, uh, a 2000 milliamp hour battery really increases the um, the life of it. Zoom in. So yeah, it's got the switch on that side, um, and you can see that it's had a cutout here essentially just to help. Um, 
it compensate for the battery sticking out a little bit on this side. And to wire in the um, to wire in the LED indicator, what I've done is I've just soldered it directly to the pin here. Um, you can buy a GPIO out board, so I think it just clips onto there, and it gives you a couple like, extra GPI pins, or even for the um, the environmental sensor if you don't have it already. Um, and then I've just put the, the LED in the back here and it's just got a white 3D printed diffuser on the back. But yeah, I just like having um, an actual physical switch so I can turn on and off. Especially with the e-ink uh, e displays, they're a bit hard to tell if it's actually on or not. Um, I'll put a link to the SDLs if anyone wants to print these as well. Um, essentially, I've got these files of printables and I've just modified them to what I need. So I'll put a, I'll put them up on printables as well. So if anyone wants to print them, they can. And with the T deck, what I've done is the three D printed, oh, sorry, three D printed resin clear case, which looks really cool. You can see right into it. Um, and with the T-Deck, you can also, um, especially with this, the Alicat um, cases, you can put a, a vibro motor in there. Um, I don't think anyone's worked out how to wire it up. Um, so I couldn't see anything online. Um, so I spent a little bit of time working out how to do it. Um, and I'll just show you, at the moment I don't have a vibro motor. Um, I've just got a, LED indicator just to show um, for the external notifications. So I'll just send a message to it now. And you see the LED going. So yeah, I, I tried a lot of the actual GPI pins that were meant to be spare on the T deck. Um, I think there was probably only meant to be four um, spare GPI pins, but the ones that I did try, out of all those four, they didn't work. Um, so a bit of trial and error. The way I've um, wired it up was I had to wire it to, if you wire it to GPI pin 48, which is meant to be for the microphone, but because the mesh tastic doesn't actually use the microphones, um, that pin seemed to work fine. I've also wired it up with a transistor. So, especially if you're going to use a vibro motor, you're going to need a transistor in between. So it gets power directly from the battery or... I'll show you how I've wired it up. So if anyone wants to try to do it as well. So this is here is the, the transistor I've used. It's a, a TN2222. Um, to wire it up, essentially, what you have to do is um, a meter. So I guess looking at this transistor, it's, it's facing downwards. If it's going to focus. Anyway. So this one here is the, the meter and it's actually just going to the, the ground of the board. Um, the middle pin is the, the base and that needs to go to the 
GPIO pin 48. So if you're looking at the bottom of the ESP32, it's if you're looking at the right bottom corner, it's just one and two. So second pin across is going to be your pin 48. And then we've got the collector, and the collector will just go is essentially just going to be the negative going to the LED or to the vibro motor. And then you want to get the power from either here, I've just powered it, I've just got the positive power from the VCC, um, and that would just go directly to, like I said, you just power it up to the wire up to the motor or just to an LED, however you want to, I guess, use the external notification if you want to use it at all. Zoom out. So I'll just show it going again. I've got the GPS uh, module as well for it. I just haven't put it in. But yeah, as you can see, these cases, these three D resin clear cases. They look pretty much like glass. So it's been printed and then they also do a, a clear coat on top of it to give it that really clear glass look. So I highly recommend getting, um, if you want to get into mesh tastic, you, the Lilygo devices are really good um, as a starter. Um, if you want one that's pretty much ready to go, I would recommend the T-Echo. Um, which is a really, like, a really good um, starter device. So hopefully this video has been useful. Um, and if you want to see more, um, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be looking at a little bit more uh, mesh tastic devices, um, hopefully soon. Um, and hopefully this video is helpful for your builds as well. Alright, thanks for watching.